so coming to alpha numeric series what you need to do is you have to keep practicing more and more questions so that you will uh, you'll reduce the time of solving a particular question in exam it really helps okay so coming to blood relations the blood relations uh, for example take a question from blood relations start reading the question from the last okay after reading the question from the last start imagining the family tree in your brain or start uh, imagining the relations in your brain or draw it on a piece of paper so when you start solving blood relations questions from last to first within half of the time you will be easily solving blood relations problems so this is the best te technique to follow coming to the questions related to blood relations okay so coming to next question coding and decoding for coding and decoding what you need to do is just uh, before the exam starts if they permit you to uh, if, uh, if they permit you to provide you uh, additional rough paper or something like that just write A to Z and Z to A and write numbers like A1, B2, C3 and again Z1, Y2 like that okay write the numbers from A to Z a to first write a to z and write numbers on it and next write z to a and write numbers on it so then you can easily solve any coding decoding problem within less than 15 to 20 seconds okay so this is the best technique coming to coding and decoding okay so now coming to directions okay so this particular directions before starting the exam what you need to do is just draw directions okay west east north south and also make sure you write northeast northwest southeast southwest and all so that direction problems you can solve within less than 30 seconds because you need not draw again once you start the exam you can just solve it within seconds okay so because you are already ready with the directions okay so coming to seating arrangement seating arrangement it is very easy there are a lot of techniques coming to a uh, question first understand whether it is a circular arrangement question or a linear arrangement question if it is a circular arrangement question draw in circular wise i mean clockwise as well as anti clockwise okay if it is circ i'm repeating if it is circular question then what you need to do is draw like solve the problem first in uh, clockwise and later if you didn't get the correct answer try it in anti-clockwise okay there are only two possibilities out of this uh, one possibility you are really going to get the answer very soon and coming to linear arrangement try left to right and then right to left okay uh, there are less just two possibilities and you can solve again within less than 30 seconds okay so coming to the problems like analogy syllogisms puzzles you have to practice more on them because there's no uh, technique uh, on these particular concepts okay so coming to numerical aptitude uh, first the most very 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 most important topic is data interpretation okay so coming to data interpretation what you need to do is start drawing the diagram which whatever you understand like first read the question after reading the question then go to the graph or the diagram or the or the picture which they gave you and then start analyzing the answer okay so if you do this you will get answer less than 20 seconds maximum of 20 seconds okay so first if they allow you can even use paper and uh, pencil and start drawing the uh, drawing the pictures or making the calculations and make sure data interpretation you will not lose any mark because this is one of the most important concept and most easy concept okay so next is profit and loss profit and loss uh, mostly there are only four to five problems uh, four to five important concepts in which only they will be repeating every year so it's very easy concept and coming to uh, simple interest and compound interest simple interest is very easy just two to three formula 
if you learn it's more than enough you can solve any single problem and coming to compound interest what you need to do is you have to make sure you have all the formulae on your fingertips because it really helps okay coming to profit and loss coming to this compound interest all the formula you should have on your tip of the tongue okay because without formula like without knowing the formula nobody can help you in this concept okay so coming to percentages it's very easy only two to three uh, kind of uh, different problems will be repeating every year so make sure you refer to the mock uh, previous papers and also go through the mock test daily so that uh, the advantage of giving the mock test is nothing but you can uh, <clears throat> analyze your performance as well as you can know where are you and where you're standing uh, in terms of time management in terms of knowledge in times of marks and all that so it really helps coming to uh, time and work it's same like time and distance what you need to do is know the formula uh, the standard book is rs agarwal for aptitude just go for it just make sure you have all the formulae on your tip of the tongue it's really important and um, coming to work and time time and distance this two formula as i said they are very important so that's it for today thank you so much for watching this video in more coming sessions in more coming videos i'll be doing um, how to solve reading comprehension practically how to solve coding decoding percentages profit and loss syllogism puzzles and data interpretation all those sums i'm going to solve in the coming sessions so what you need to do is don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon to get notified whenever i upload a video because this videos will really help you to score more and more marks and like and share this video with all your friends also help them to score more marks so subscribe and hit the bell icon so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe all the best for your exams.